Okay, I'm continuing to pursue this microamp pulse motor um, for a number of different reasons, but I've gone off in a little different direction on this. And I got the, the rotor going real slow now, and I've changed the circuit around. And I've gone up on the amp draw to just under 50 microamps. But I've got it running on a AA battery. So I went uh, down from 3 volts to a volt and a half on a double A, and that's where it's running at uh, under 50 microamps. And remember, this is pulsing. This isn't a constant draw. It's a pulse. And that's why they call these pulse motors. And you can see how slow the pulse rate is really now. And I've changed the circuit up a little bit. I put a capacitor here. It's a 6-volt... 22 microfarad cap. I just grabbed one and stuck it in and this seemed to really help. I'm not exactly sure why, but these are the numbers right here. It's a 2500 milliampere alkaline double A. It's just a dollar store alkaline, but that's what they're they're rated at at about 2500 milliampere hours. It's not lithium, it's alkaline. But these are now rated up to 10 years of shelf life. And that's what I was interested in was a, a battery that would sit on the shelf for 10 years and still have power in it. And this is how I've calculated the run time. Um, the coil is a 2000 ohm 42 gauge coil wound up on a sewing machine plastic bobbin. It's air core, there's no metal in it. Uh, the rotor is sitting on a needle and that's a brass screw for the, the bearing surface. So the bearing is hidden up inside the rotor. It's steel on brass with a good lubrication. And this is how I calculated it. And I would be real uh, happy if people would comment on this and make sure I've done my math correctly because I checked and double checked this and I'm pretty sure this number is accurate. Now if all of these things are wrong by a certain percentage even if this ran three years it'd still be rather phenomenal but it's 2500 milliampere hour battery which means it'll it could draw a milliamp for 2500 hours the way I see this especially at a low ampere hour draw rate which is what this is and this motor will run down into about 1.2 volts or less so I still think it would run uh, when the battery voltage drops off on the discharge curve now at 0.05 milliamps which is 50 microamps the way I calculate this was 50,000 hours or six years and some of you guys uh, run your calculations real quick and see if I've done this right and if I've done it wrong, I'll pull the video and re redo another video. But this is a, a meter that's pretty darn accurate. And uh, I checked this with other meters too, and this, this is where it's running at. And I've also checked this with capacitors and let the capacitors drain down just to make sure I don't have a major error on, the, on this thing. Um, Anyway, take a look at this and see what, you, see what you think. I'm real anxious to get your comments on this. And my thought on this is if, if I had a better bearing here, sapphire bearing, so I wouldn't have to worry about the uh, bearing wear on this and went to the jeweled bearings, this particular setup here on a AA battery, if I had to replace this every few years, I mean, I don't care. And I could put this in a little plastic box and set it up on the shelf and uh, that would be a real interesting uh, object to stare at year after year as that ran on a double A battery because I have stuff that has these double A's in it from many many years ago that are still alive they haven't leaked and they've got the better the battery technology down on these alkalines so that they have a real long shelf life and when you're drawing down the power in that realm I think this is possible. Anyway, I'm anxious to get uh, hear some of your comments. If you would leave some comments on this, and uh, uh, I'll uh, I'll see if if I've got this right. But it looks like I've got something that will run into years without having to go very exotic. 
Thanks for, for watching.